How's it going everyone? Mike here with March 23rd, Merch by Amazon Sales Update. I'm recording this on the morning of the 24th, so as you can see, uh, no sales in the US as of right now. It's still very early. There's one sale in Italy, so at least I've cracked that one for the day, but let's look at yesterday. So as, uh, as you see here, eight total sales um, in the US and total number of sales across all the marketplaces was 11. So those are those are the numbers. But uh, something interesting happened that I wanted to share with you guys. First of all, uh, let's look at the numbers overall, and then I'll, I'll talk about that one thing. So 11 is is nice. Like I, I now I'm, I, I'm, I'm getting used to double digit uh, days where you know, what a month ago, just a month ago, or, or two months ago, uh, you know, getting 10 sales a day was was like a, a, an abnormality, right? It wasn't something that would happen every single day. And now, if I don't have 10 plus days across all marketplaces, uh, uh, once in a while, I kind of feel uh, funny about it, right? And it's it's so strange. Uh, because, uh, like nothing, ex nothing uh, exceptional has happened except that I've been listing more products, right? It's not like, for example, one product has taken off, and then uh, you know I'm getting so many sales uh, of in of that one product or anything like that. It's basically just a numbers game at this point for me. But that that one interesting thing that I said happened is out of these eleven sales and I actually was looking at these numbers this is something that I look at every single day uh, for example it tells you here product sold and it says that it was seven different products as you can see and then there were two where I had uh, three sales uh, as you can see here so basically seven different products 11 total sales and here's the interesting part out of these seven products five so five were new products that I've actually listed in the last, uh, let's say a month. I don't know exactly when when uh, they were, but as you can see here, they are mostly, and, and I'm realizing now a lot more uh, phone cases are selling. So when I started, this was like a year or two ago, when I started listing pop sockets, they uh, really took over. They, the pop sockets became my number one seller uh, and and really beat out t-shirts uh, but again t-shirts will always sell it's the, it's the number one seller there's no competition but pop sockets really did take over and now what I'm noticing is phone cases and specifically iPhone cases are slowly taking off and the the interesting fart uh, part not fart for me is that uh it's designs that I, I personally, for example, if I was to get a phone case, I wouldn't get those designs on my phone case. And, and that, that has constantly uh, happened to me over the last, let's say, couple of months where I've actually started paying attention to, you know, which design I'm putting on what product. I wasn't just simply like doing a mass upload and basically saying this design is going on everything. And basically the, the conclusion is that I'm wrong and I don't want to say most of the time but let's just say that I have to admit that people don't have the same uh, taste as I do in uh, in products overall for example uh, people definitely uh, will buy designs and and put them on their cell phone that I would be like no this this would only work uh, on a t-shirt for example or e I've even seen some pop sockets that are selling where where I was like this is a perfect design for a t-shirt and and that's something that actually I have to pay attention to because that opens up a lot of uh, opportunities for for sales I was completely wrong about the Japanese marketplace where I thought that the English text-based t-shirts won't sell, they're selling. Uh, I was I was wrong about uh, phone cases. 
and and it just tells you i guess to to take a chance so the, I, I guess the, the only thing that i can uh provide like a like a helpful thing out of this video is take a chance on certain designs don't be so certain that you know what will sell uh, that's that's kind of the only summary that i can give you anyways let's look at the the numbers overall last seven days again this is uh, the zero is included uh, so seven day average for me is hovering now around 70 uh, because of the 10 day uh, 10 sales a day uh, average and this is the u.s market now this is awesome so it is the 23rd right we're looking at the 23rd uh 193 sales uh and that that's beating out the previous month by 30 sales and it's the 23rd so we got over a week left which is amazing let's look at the numbers overall so i was i was mentioning in some of my previous videos that this might be like i don't want to jinx it and, and say there's going to be the best month since november but it's definitely cracking 200 and we'll see how far i get i i, I wouldn't be surprised if it beats january uh, which is awesome uh, and then as you can see here total royalties uh for the the u.s market is 675 uh, dollars which is awesome and uh and let's look at the month uh overall let's actually i wanted to look at the the sales uh, and we can we can do that here so this month uh, let's exclude today so we'll go from the first to the 23rd all marketplaces we'll look at the data so this is the total the total for the month across all marketplaces is 237 uh, which is uh, I, th I, th I can't I can't do the conversion quickly but we're looking at close to uh, forty five hundred dollars in uh, sales for the month and royalties uh, are over eight hundred dollars at this point so again we have uh, what is it the 23rd 24th let me just pull up the calendar here so that gives us one two three four seven eight days so eight days to go and this is where I stand right now so I'm extremely happy with this month I've I've uh, taken down about uh, six to seven hundred. Uh, I'll go back to the first page. Six to seven hundred uh, tote bags and pillows uh, yesterday, and uploaded another maybe six hundred products of of different designs. And that was my plan. So if anything that that, for example, isn't selling in certain product categories, I'm taking them out down immediately as soon as I get my spreadsheets ready, and up I'm uploading new products. So, so again, this number will, I, I keep using the word recycle, like we're, I'm going to go through this and this is going to change, you know, by thousands uh, over the next couple of weeks, which is according to my plan. And, and things are looking good. Uh, 966. And again, I don't know if this number is ex exactly accurate, but I remember when I was at a tier uh, 8,000, my percentage was uh, about 10 to 11% products with sales so i'm going to give this couple of months to to actually uh keep getting those sales because uh if it, if it reaches 10 or 11 percent at some point that's going to be amazing uh and this number grows every single day anyways uh just to summarize the last thing as i as i like to do is to to mention you know hey i still wouldn't have been tiered up to 10,000. so the fact that we're here tier 20,000 is just incredible uh Anyways, great month. It might be the best month, uh, you know, probably since 2019, if not, if not longer. But I, I like I said, I don't want to jinx it. Uh, overall results are great. I'm super happy. Thanks for watching, guys. Uh, let me know in the comments if you have any questions or if you'd like to share any of your uh, successes. Okay, see you soon.